What's up, my dungeon dwelling dudes? Toy Insanity bringing some of that dragon insanity with the Dungeons and Dragons D and D figures called Figurines of Adorable Power. Wow, this is a new line for me, but they look amazing. This is my first three. I think six exist. At least the store I was at had six different ones. I'm going to pop them all out first, and then we'll read the bios provided on the packaging. Who makes these? Ultra Pro. Wizards of the Coast, of course, has, you know, they've always had the license to Dungeons and Dragons. But Ultra Pro, the people that make the trading card, nine card pages, and all the, you know, the top loaders and all that, made these vinyl figures. This is a chase. We're, yeah, I got a chase figure of Mimic. I got Gazer. And Flump. These look incredible. Right up my alley. That's amazing. The other three did not look that interesting. I'm just a fan of cool toys and cool figures. I don't play D&D. I think it's cool. Respect to you if you play, if that's your jam. I just had to have these figures. I may get the other three. I don't know. It was the Red Dragon, the Owlbear, and the other one is actually on this packaging. GIF. Teach me something about GIF. So all these boxes show the same they show three of the same four. So the Red Dragon, the Owlbear might be like a separate series. And then GIF, like I said, is on that packaging. I think this guy's arm is broken. That's not good. Look how interesting and adorable this is. I, th I think this, copyright 2019. I think this creature is derivative of what is known as an atmospheric jellyfish. The flump. Let's read about that. This is the mysterious flump. Drifts through the underdark, propelled through the air by jets whose sound gives them their name. Flump, flump, flump. Flump. I imagine it's something like that. A flump glows faintly, reflecting its mood in its color. Soft pink means it's amused. Deep blue is sadness. Green expresses curiosity. And crimson is anger. Anger. Hostility towards the opposition. Anger. Hostility towards the opposition. Anger. Hostility towards the opposition. Well, what is yellow? I guess yellow is default. Calm. Seems like this figure might even glow in the dark. Now let's look at the Gazer. A tiny manifestation of a beholder's dream. It resembles the beholder who dreamed it into existence. But its body is only eight inches wide and it has only four eye stalks. The beholder can see through the gazer's eyes and use it to spy on enemies as well as its other minions. I'm disappointed in this eye. It is clearly printed. It's printed on wrong. You could tell this color, the paint was shot on with stencils, and they had that one misaligned. It was the only gazer they had, so I got it. And I like it, aside from that one eye. Now, the third one is called... A mimic. 
And it is the Chase version. It is metallic. The regular one does not have metallic paint. Oh, wow, super rare. Probably only 10,000 were made. Metallic Mimic. This, uh, this little piece of wood was a bad idea. Let's read about the Mimic. Mimics are shape-shifting predators, able to take on the form of inanimate objects to lure creatures to their doom. In dungeons, these cunning creatures most often take the form of doors and chests, having learned that such forms attract a steady stream of prey. What a cool concept. First of all, it made me think of Transformers for a second, like a vicious Decepticon, but then I also thought of plant, plant, yeah, uh, carnivorous plants. A little deception for a little a, a little mealy bug, but in this case, it could be a human. Oh, what's in that chest over there? What's in that treasure chest? Ow. Then you're gone. You're done. You've been eaten. The flump, the mimic, and the gazer. Who's your favorite? I got to go with the Mimic. Very cool concept. I would even... Uh, that would look cool on the shelf with the Treasure Xers. A man-eating treasure chest. That's a very cool idea. That's it. That's what I got. Love to all. Love you so much. Thumbs up. Goodbye.